Hi guys. So today for math, we're going to be going over um, chapter 10.1, which was a lesson that we've actually already done. Um, but I figured it's been a couple weeks, so we might need to go over and kind of review um, what we learned so far from chapter 10. So chapter 10.1 was all about different types of lines. So if you can see the anchor chart over here, it should look familiar. We have gone over some of these things before. Um, but just to kind of again review the different types of lines. So one of the first things we talked about was um, what a point is. And a point is a place on a line. And it usually has some type of label that's a letter um, to help us name the point and the lines. We talked about what a line is. So here's an example of what a line looks like. Notice that it has arrows on both ends of the line. It goes on and on forever on both sides. Um, and if I were to name this line, I would call it line BC. You'll notice the points kind of help you with naming it if you were to have to name it. Um, over here, we have a line segment. So if you remember, a line segment is just a part of a line. It's just a section of it. It's not the entire line. So you'll notice that a line segment has end points. Um, it doesn't have arrows that go on and on and on. And so if I were to name this line segment, I would call this line segment DE, because those are the points located for that line segment. Over here, we have a ray. So we learned about how a ray has one end point here, and the other point um, is in its end point, because you'll notice that this side has an arrow. It goes on and on forever, only on one side. So a ray has an end point, and it has the other side of the line, that goes on and on and on. So I would name this FG, Ray FG, because that's its point. Um, we talked about what an angle is, and we're gonna go over the different types of angles in one second. Um, but an angle, how you would name it, is naming the points that are on that angle. And it's important to remember that the middle letter should always be the middle point. So that's called your vertex. The vertex of an angle is that middle point where the two essentially rays meet. These two rays are meeting at point Q, making this angle PQR. So I'd name that PQR. Um, so that's it for now for types of lines. The other ones we'll go over in another lesson. So let's go over the different types of angles that we learned. I think it's going to stay. All right, so the different types of angles we learned about. Make sure you can see that. Okay. Um, so an angle is formed when two rays meet and they share a vertex, which is that center point. So your vertex would be here, 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 here. Always that that point where the two lines are meeting. Um, and angles are measured in what we call degrees. So here's an example of an acute angle. That's a type of angle. And an acute angle is always less than 90 degrees. A 90 degree angle is a right angle. So a right angle is always, 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 always 90 degrees. Not 89 degrees, not 91 degrees, exactly 90 degrees. And you can tell when an angle is 90 degrees because usually it has this little square. So you wanna think of a right angle as like a perfect square. So anything less than 90 degrees, you would call it an acute angle. Even if it's 89 degrees, even if it's 74 degrees, it's an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. So think of it like a cute little angle. All right, so we have acute angle, small, cute, less than 90 degrees. Right angle, exactly 90 degrees. Think of it like a corner or a perfect square. An obtuse angle is an angle between 91 degrees and 179 degrees. So that means it's bigger than a 90 degree angle, a right angle, 
but it's less than a straight line, a straight angle. So anything between. So think of it like antlers or moose ears. Big angle, obtuse. A straight angle, it's simply a straight line. Um, it's equal to 180 degrees and it's a perfect straight line. Even if one of these rays was a little up, it would no longer be a straight line. I would call that an obtuse angle because that would be um, a little less than 180 degrees. And then we have a complete circle is exactly 360 degrees. So when you think of a complete circle, a whole circle is a complete 360 degrees. And our last one is a reflex angle. A reflex angle is when an angle goes like beyond a straight line, like bigger than 180 degrees, like 260 degrees. That goes beyond a straight line, it kind of bends outward. And it's not quite a complete circle yet. You can see how it's a little bit less than a full circle, but it's definitely more than a straight line. Okay, so those are the different types of angles. So remember, especially acute angle, small angle, obtuse angle, or those bigger angles, and then perfect right angle is 90 degrees. Um, so from here, now that we've reviewed the different types of angles, we reviewed the different types of lines, your assignment today is going to be to do the exit slip that is posted on Google Classroom. It's um, attached to this lesson, this form um, is, I think it's a form. Um, and it's, I don't think it's very long. It's a few, it maybe like 10, 13 questions, something like that. Um, and it's all relating to just this lesson. After you finish that, you can submit it because I will be grading those. And then you're going to go on to Think Central, which I provided the instructions on how to log into Think Central, how to get there, how to log in. Um, and I did assign you the, it's called the homework on 10.1 for Think Central. It's not actually homework, but um, it is, that's like where you can actually go in and, and put in your work. Um, so we assigned that part of Think Central. Um, I think that's only maybe like 10 questions. And then that's it for like mandatory work. But if you still wanted to continue practicing what we learned today, um, then you have the option to go on the other links I attached to this assignment is Freckle. I did assign um, just the, the lines and angles and same thing with math games. That's a new website I'm going to start using, um, assigning math games relating to that day's lesson. So the game that you would play is only relating to lines and angles. Um, I also, I think, connected Khan Academy. Um, and I think that's it. So optional work would be like Freckle, Khan Academy, math games. Um, but mandatory work, definitely do the exit slip um, and definitely go on Think Central and do all those questions. All right, so I think that's it for today's math lesson. Um, and the next time we'll be going over different shapes. We'll be doing some triangles. All right, so look for that um, lesson on Wednesday. All right, see you guys later.